My next guest firmly believes your hobby doesn't have to be a side hustle, that it's okay to create without selling it and to allow a hobby to simply make you happy. Tracy McCubbin joining me through the screen with a conversation I think we aren't having about passions and hobbies, but I'm glad we're having it today. Tracy, it's great to connect with you. How are you, friend? I'm good, Brooke. How are you? I'm good, and I love the way you bring forward these conversations that sort of like tickle inside of us as truth, like you feel like you should be thinking this way or living this way, and, and you put it into words. So we're grateful to you for that. What do you mean by your claim, Tracy, your purpose may not make you any money? You know, I think there's this just, as you said, this huge push right now that we all have to have a side hustle and we have to open an Etsy store and we have to sort of generate income with the things that we love to do. And we're losing touch with the fact that there are just some things we love to do. You may love to bake bread and give it to your friends and give it to your neighbors, but you don't have to open a bakery. And I think this added pressure of taking something that you love to create or just do out of the, you know, the goodness of your heart and that you have to monetize it. I think it's really a lot of pressure on people and kind of makes us lose the joy of the spirit of creating and giving. Amen, sister. Amen. I remember, gosh, it's been about 15 years ago now, but I wrote an editorial piece about this same notion speaking to, you know, creative women saying you don't have to photograph it and post it just to feel the fulfillment of creativity. And I took some heat for that. And I understand because we're a show that celebrates, you know, the creative and celebrates that side of womanhood. And we support a lot of women who do choose to do that. But I think it speaks to what you're saying, which is we have to push for this internal fulfillment, this internal purpose, right? Absolutely. And, you know, I think that when you try and monetize it, you know, there's that layer of pressure like, well, what are my sales and how much money are I making? But when you do something because you love it, and especially if it's something that you you know, that helps other people. I had a client recently who retired and was sort of, you know, oh, I need to get another job and I need to make these blankets and maybe I can sell these blankets. And they had set their life up so that retirement was comfortable. They didn't need the income. And I was like, what if you just knitted the blankets and gave them to people who were in the hospital or the NICU? Like, mm -hmm. what if it was that? And she was like, oh no, that's actually what I really want to do, mm -hmm. right? That when she realized, oh, I don't have to create this income, I can create something from the joy and the joy yes. of giving to someone else. It's sort of the internal work that I think people with strong celebration worthy soft skills ha have had to do for years like if you if you are an innate um like cheerleader or if you are you know <laughs> service oriented or you have this gift or this talent that isn't naturally outwardly celebrated you've had to kind of connect this make this purpose connection already but now you're saying Tracy to those who do have a potential outward you know gift or talent you can just celebrate that internally too or find validation from that inside Absolutely. You know, it doesn't have to be linked monetarily. And, you know, I think that we lose the sight of like, sometimes we just do things because we love to do them. And you know what? That's okay. Because when you love to do something and it brings your joy out, then yes. you spread your joy around the world. Oh, I love this message so much, Tracy. And you know, I love all of the messages that you're putting out into the world. Where can people connect with you? Absolutely. So come on over to Instagram, Tracy underscore McCubbin, and then my website, tracymccubbin.com. You can sign up for my newsletter, and we're just having lots of fun and lots of positive, um, you know, challenges to get through decluttering and organizing this spring. You're motivating women. I know spring a great time to do the work that you do to declutter, to organize, but all with that good intention at the root of it. Tracy, great to chat with you today on Studio 5. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brooke.